what disaster struck the Franklin expedition? In 1845, two British warships, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, with 129 officers and men on board, sailed under the command of Captain Sir John Franklin into the Canadian Arctic. It was generally assumed they were attempting to complete the fabled Northwest Passage, connecting the Atlantic to the Pacific, but in actuality, their mission was to reach the magnetic North Pole and conduct an overwinter series of magnetic observations as part of a global research project. The warships reached their destination in September 1846. However, three men had lost their lives. Modern autopsies indicate tuberculosis was to blame during the journey and even more died during the next 18 months, including Franklin. But curiously, no causes of death can be determined. In April 1848, the remaining crew abandoned their ships, which were imprisoned by thick ice off King William Island, an outcrop of the Canadian Arctic archipelago. The only surviving written record of the expedition is a brief note stating the survivors' intention to reach Bat River, more than a thousand miles away. However, in the face of limited food supplies and an inability to hunt what scant resources they came across during the journey, sub-zero temperatures and extremely difficult terrain, their desperate march descended into a large-scale cannibalism at two separate locations, which was witnessed by Inuit hunters. The entire expedition perished less than halfway to safety. Over the following decade, 13 search and rescue missions were dispatched from Britain to America, and in 1859, a sledge expedition finally reached Victory Point on King William Island. Here, the officer's final message was discovered, as well as a boat containing incomplete skeletons. Despite clear evidence, the crew's cannibalism was concealed and a statue was erected in London to commemorate Franklin's discovery of the Northwest Passage. The official line of the fate of the Franklin expedition went largely unchallenged until just six years ago when Canadian archaeologists located the visited the remains of both Terra and Erebus. Terra, they discovered, had been successfully navigated from Victory Point and Erebus probably drifted south with the melting ice and sank without a crew on board. Despite the discoveries of the two wrecks, the reason why the ships were abandoned and why so many died before the survivors decided to make it to Bat River remains a mystery. The expedition's paperwork, which could contain the answer to this puzzle, is unlikely to have survived 170 years below the waves. Perhaps this enigma will always go unsolved, with the crew's secrets lost to the icy water.